Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Passion and today we're getting a little productive. But first, I definitely want to say thank you guys so much for 200 subscribers. Like, that means so much to me. I'm so happy about it. So thank you so much for subscribing to me. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, it's down there. Just click the button. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> So I know a lot of you guys probably have a full-time job like I do or you are a student and you're on campus all day and you have to work on your side hustle or your YouTube channel after work and you're just like man that gets a little hard sometimes I don't always have the motivation to keep going once I have been awake all day dealing with X Y and Z and all these different people and you're just like okay i need to figure out a way to recharge myself re-energize myself so that when i get home i can actually accomplish what i need to accomplish and that's where i come in so this video i'm going to give you guys 10 tips on how to stay productive after a busy day once you get home we're gonna go ahead and get into tip number one so these tips are not in any particular order they're just kind of what I do whenever I need to recharge myself and I know that I have things that I need to complete once I get home. So no particular order, they're just kind of in there, <laughs> whatever this is. So tip number one is going to be to listen to an inspirational podcast or some inspiring music or something that gets you pumped up. For me, that's an inspirational podcast where they're talking about their dreams, how they got there, how they're productive on a daily basis. And honestly, I feel like that ignites something in me where I'm just like, yes, okay, you can keep going. Or throw some hip hop music out there. Sometimes I'll listen to some 90s R&B, 90s hip hop, and I'm like driving home like, mm-hmm. Windows down on a nice day, I'm like, yeah. The day has really begun for me. <laughs> so yeah, inspirational podcasts, dope music will definitely help you on your ride home. So my tip number two is going to be to make a plan of action about 30 minutes to an hour before you leave work or revisit the plan that you like made that morning, like if you have a set schedule, but just look at your plan and look at the big picture. And for me, whenever I look back at something like if i'm looking at my planner and it has all the tasks that i have to do that day i'm just like okay after like a long day of doing something that serves someone else you're finally getting that chance to do something that serves you so maybe that's why it reignites me but i'm just like okay cool and also i feel like by looking back or even creating like a brand new to-do list or whatever you're clearing out your mind which helps so much i cannot tell you how many times i'm just like oh my god i have so much to do i have this i have this i have this and i write it all down and i'm like it's actually not that much it'll probably take me like an hour or two so it really helps clearing out your mind and really refocusing your energy and you know, reignites you, re-excites you to do something that serves yourself. So either create a to-do list or revisit the plan, the schedule that you have already set for yourself. Tip number three. So this one's a little weird, but it helps me so much, you guys. So this one is to pop a mint or chew some gum. You're probably like, okay, but there's something about that minty flavor that just wakes me up and just gives me like a ho, like what is going on? Like, okay, I don't know what it is. I don't know what the science is behind it, but mint, anything mint flavored, you're gonna wake right up. Moving on to tip number four. So this tip is gonna be for my people that just cannot work at home. <laughs> and this is to go to a coffee shop or a library or a park or something like that, somewhere that's not your house and just take all of your whatever you need <laughs> to that place and just crank out whatever you need to do and just get it done. I completely understand not being able to go home because you know that your bed is going to be calling you been there so sometimes it's just best for you to stay out and accomplish things that way so 
tip number four coffee shop library just don't go home <laughs> tip number five so this tip is for my people that actually go home but if you go home don't sit when you get home i cannot tell you how many times i have gotten home like i've got to my house and I see the couch and I just sit down and I'm just chilling, scrolling on Instagram, scrolling on TikTok, Twitter, whatever. And before I know it, I've been on there, like I've been on my phone for like two hours and I'm like, <laughs> excuse me, <laughs> where'd the time go? <laughs> so don't sit when you get home. Usually I'll come home and maybe I'll have like dishes in the sink or I know that I haven't finish my laundry or I need to tidy up my bathroom so I'll like do something like that to where I'm still on my feet but don't sit down yeah just keep moving because for me if I stop at my living room I may not get any work done so keep moving and this actually kind of goes into my next tip which is tip number six and that is to have a designated space for work. And I just feel like this makes it so much easier if you have like a desk area in your room or if you work at the dining table or like wherever you wanna set up that space where you know you're gonna get something done, have that be where you sit down and just put in the time, put in the effort gonna help so much because as you guys know if you watch my a day in the life vlog link down below I will post up on my couch sometimes and some days it works better than others <laughs> but if I come into my office which is this situation right here I am so much more productive like I get so much done and in a shorter amount of time because I don't have all these different distractions and I can close the doors and just zero in and be laser focused so tip number six have a designated space where you work moving on to tip number seven so you know how I mentioned like not sitting when you get home and having a designated space to work Tip number seven is cleaning your space or tidying up your space. There's something about having a clear space that, you know, clear space, clear mind. And I know that if something in my house is dirty or an area that I'm gonna pass by is dirty and I've been thinking about it all day, that's the first thing that I do when I get home. I'll tidy it up, put things where they need to be in once it just looks like it should look i'm like okay that's done life is good so especially if you're going to be working in that space you want to clean it up a little bit because it's going to make you feel a you accomplish something and b it's just gonna be like okay cool it's tidy and now i like won't be distracted by the clutter everywhere and again you can have laser focus and just do what you need to do so clean your space tidy up so tip number eight is to change it to some comfy clothes or different clothes like this may not work for everyone because you might get too comfy but for me just taking off like my business casual outfits it's like taking off the day and being able to breathe and then i'm putting on something new so it's like okay like this is a like a new section of your day kind of and so i don't know what it does to my mind but it kind of it like calms me a little bit and it's like okay like you finish that day you can leave all that stress behind you whatever happened at work whatever happened at school in your classes whatever that can all be left behind you are moving forward so in your clothes it's small but it could be one of the most powerful things on this list so tip number nine this one kind of goes back to that list that i told you guys to make or look back at before well, tip number nine is to set a main goal. So what is the main thing on 
that list that's going to make you feel as though you have accomplished something set that main goal let that be the number one thing on your list that if you get that thing done everything else like it's okay if you don't get to it because i mean honestly you could be on a roll and then just kind of hit a slump and be like i i can't do anymore like i don't have the mental power to give any more so this is where i tap out but at least i got this main thing done so set that main goal have that be the thing that you must get done when you get home and everything else if you get to it fantastic that's just an added bonus but if you don't do not get down on yourself because you still accomplished the main thing that you wanted to so tip number nine set a main goal and make sure you accomplish at least that goal so you can feel productive okay you guys we have made it to our last tip and this tip is actually one that i'm just now getting into and it's something that's really helping me but tip number 10 do not be afraid to take breaks once i'm in the zone and i'm working and i'm like really like on the move getting things done usually like at an hour hour and a half i'll decide to take a break and that's just because after a while i know my body i'll get antsy and i won't be thinking clearly i'll decide to take a break and that could be anything like going to go get a snack <laughs> from the refrigerator or you know checking social media or going to go talk to my mom whatever i just decide to take a little break and this break is really up to you there isn't like a set amount of time you could have it be really short 10 minutes or 30 minutes does not matter but I just think that you should not be afraid to take breaks especially since you are working and giving more of your energy after you have given pretty much like a good chunk of it to the rest of your day so you're working on low fumes and you're really trying to maximize it so take those breaks do not be afraid of them and you guys that is it those are all of my tips they help me so much whenever I know that I need to get something done or I know that I want to get something done so badly I'll just you know pull from my archive pull from my toolbox and this is what this is I just want to give you guys tools that you can pull out whenever you need them whenever you need that extra boost that extra push so you can achieve the things that you want to achieve that is it thank you so much for watching and again thank you so much for 200 subscribers i like i'm over the moon i'm so happy about it i love all of you guys and i hope you have a fantastic week and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below and let me know how you guys like to stay productive after a long day and if you haven't subscribed yet click it it's right there. I will see you guys in my next video and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Bye!